again, another beautiful Sabbath. We want to say our prayers to the Most High for allowing us to gather here together to teach the word. To teach the word and to warn the people what's going on in these times to come. We're living in some crazy times right now. Everybody heard what happened with the whole Nicki Minaj and uh, Cardi B video, right? Megan Thee Stallion. Let's say Nicki Minaj and Cardi B. I don't even be knowing these females anymore. What? I don't even be knowing their names. I be, I be thinking they all are the same. But <laughs> Megan Thee Stallion. Yeah, come Megan Thee Stallion, Cardi B. I mean, times is getting rough, y'all. I mean, it's getting bad. It's getting real bad. You know what I'm saying? But it's time when things get bad. It's time for the prophets to come out and teach. We gotta teach the people. That's right. We gotta teach the people the truth. No matter if they want to hear it or forbear, we gotta teach them the truth. It don't matter if they mad at us or not. We gotta teach them the truth. The truth, regardless. The Bible tells us that we gotta tell the wicked and warn them of their wicked way. The truth of the Bible, though, we're not bringing Christianity. Christianity is a goddamn lie, and we don't care about Christianity, right? We gonna tell the truth according to these words. Precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little and there a little. Give me that. Give me that. Yeah. Isaiah. This is how we read the Bible right here. Read that. Isaiah chapter 28, verse 10. For precept must be upon precept. See, precept is upon precept. Read. Precept upon precept. Precept upon precept. Read. Line upon line. Line upon line, read. Line upon line. Line upon line, read. Here a little and there a little. See, that's how you really read the Bible. We're not going to freestyle for like 10 hours about singing and hollering and dancing and shouting. We're going to tell you what the words really say. Peace up upon peace up, line upon line. Here a little, there a little. That's why when you look at the Israelites, that's why we read the scriptures the way we read it. Because the Bible tells us to read it with the words. We speak the oracles of God. Read it out in Peter. Second Peter. Bring it out. Bring it out. We speak the oracles of God. Um, no, actually, First Peter. Right here. First Peter 4. And read that verse. First Peter chapter 4, verse 11. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. See, when a man speak, we speak the oracles of God. These are the oracles of God right here. These words right here. This is what we speak. This is what we commanded to speak. Only the oracles of God. Not our own opinions. Not our own philosophies. Not what we believe. Not what we think. We're going to speak the oracles of God. And this book is a book of prophecy. This book is a book of power. We're going to show you the power in this book today. We're in the last days right now. We're living in a day that the Bible speaks of. We're living in a wicked day. This is a wicked time. You know this is a wicked time. When all our women want to do is be hoes. That's all our women have to offer is be hoes. All our men want to do is pop names, pop mollies, and probably kill you, shoot you down, rap about, I'm, I'm killing your girl, I'm taking your girl, all of that. I'm going to kill my brother, right? This world is evil. It's no more love in the world. Where's the love at in the world? Bring it out. Where's the love at in the world? Huh? Anybody can tell me where the love and where the peace at in the world? It's no peace in the world. It's nothing but hatred in the world. The whole black culture is just hatred, a bunch of hatred. That's all it is. So the Bible says we have to speak the oracles of God because these words is what's going to help us get out of the conditions that we're in right now. Only these words can do it. That's why we come with this book, with this Bible, with these words, right? If any man minister, let him do it as the ability of which God gave it. So we speak the oracles of God with the ability that God gave us, we right? That God in all things may be glorified. To glorify our Heavenly Father, we right? Through Jesus Christ. Through Christ. Right? We believe it away, right, brothers? Calm. What scripture is that? 14 what? 6. 14 6. Believe it away. We follow who's the way? Christ is the way. The world know, yeah, get that. Get John 14 6. This is who we follow. We really follow Christ. We really want to be Christ like. That's why we don't fall into substance abuse abuse. That's why we don't fall into hatred of our brother. That's why we don't fall into fornication. That's why we don't fall into the lust of the flesh. That's why we don't act as the scriptures call you brute beast. We don't act like that. With all of the things and the ideas of whatever the flesh tells us to do, that's what we want to do. We don't act on those things. We do what the Bible says do because we're followers of the way. Read. This is our mantra. Read. John chapter 14 verse 6. Yahweh Shai said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. See, we want to follow the way, the truth, and life. We want to follow life. The Bible and the words of this book gives you life. How you doing, sister? How you doing today? You okay? 
Yeah. You stand safe, you got that mask on for protection, huh? Yeah, but I'm dying. Yeah, you know the greatest protection is Christ. Who is the one? Who is the one that's going to protect you from the coronavirus? See, there's a lot of craziness going on right now. You got the coronavirus going on. You got it. It's, the world is mad right now. The world is mad right now. I mean, and you know it's crazy when the sports didn't stop, entertainment didn't stop. It's getting crazy. We're going to tell you what time it is right now, Reed. Exodus chapter 23, verse 25. And ye shall serve the Lord your God, and he shall bless thy bread and thy water, and I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. That's why you're not going to find us with no coronavirus mask, right? We don't care about wearing a mask because the Most High is the one that's going to deliver sickness upon you. If you're keeping these waters, you ain't got to worry about it. And if the Most High chooses to give you sickness, then that's what he chose to do. That mask's not going to help you from sickness. Oh, you know, it burns me up when they wearing the mask but then smoking a cigarette. It burns me up. I mean, it burns me up. You wearing a mask and you eating pork. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? Do you even research what pork can do to your insides and what pork can do to your health? We all wear a mask, right? But on the window of that McDonald's uh, uh, window, it tells you that the products that they serve in there cause cancer. How the hell we wear a mask and then you go to McDonald's to eat the cancer? Jeez, y'all. <laughs> that don't make no goddamn sense. To wear a goddamn mask for the mask not gonna save you. But see, that's the scare tactic. Everybody's running around crazy. We don't know what to do. The Israelites got the answer though. We got the answer. We know what is supposed. We know what's supposed to be going on. We know what to do. We we trying to tell you what it is to get life. But y'all don't believe us because we look like a bunch of niggas to you on a corner. You'd be surprised what these negroes on the corner know. These negroes and Mexicans. Just pull over. Come talk to us. We'll show you what we know. What you want to talk about? You want to talk about history? Want to talk about scriptures? You want to talk? What you want to talk about? Law, commandments, Christ, what? <laughs> Government, politics? I don't like to call it politics. I call it politics. What you want to talk about? Whatever you want to talk about. You want know, you, you, you need some therapy? I pull over. We'll help you. We'll, we'll talk to you about what you need. What you, what you got a lot on your mind? You stressed? You need ease from your, your, your day to day life? Come pull over. We'll talk to you about that. Uh -huh. We got the answers for you. You know why? Because the Bible got the answers for you. Seek out of the book of the Lord and read none of these show fellas. We believe it. That's why these brothers on the corner, we young brothers, but guess what? We got our houses in order. <laughs> hey, guess what? You know, people ask me, they ain't getting married in 2020? <laughs> Do people get married anymore? I mean, you married for a season. But the Bible teaches, it heals all of that. See the parent households, right? Kids growing up without their fathers, right? The Bible heals all of that. All we gotta do is come back into the authority of this book, and we're gonna be here every single day. Every single Sabbath, we're gonna be here. We will never be removed from off these corners. Because we gotta tell you the truth. If, if we don't do it, if we don't tell you the truth, the world is gonna lie to you. Give me uh, Jeremiah 28 and 8. Jeremiah 28 and 8. If we don't do it, who's gonna do it, brothers? Who's gonna do it? But if we don't do it, if we don't tell the truth, the whole world is going to continue to be a lie. We're the only ones that have the truth. Why? I'm going to tell you why we have the truth. Read that. Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of all prophesied both against many countries. See, that's what we do. We prophesy against many countries. We prophesy against the evil nations. That's what we talk about. That's what the prophets that was before us of old. That's what Jeremiah, Isaiah, Ezekiel, Daniel. What were these prophets talking about? Were they talking about prosperity doctrines? Were they talking about if you give me uh, 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 tithes and pay tithes to the church, you're going to get your range rover. The most high God is going to bless you with a range rover. He's going to bless you with a house. He's going to bless you with a nice car. Prosperity doctrines. No, the blue leg church, the fake Christian church is talking to you about prosperity doctrines. But the real prophets of the Lord, this is what they talk about, read. Prophesy both against many countries. We talk about many countries, sorry. And against great kingdoms. And we talk about great kingdoms. This is what the Bible says we talk about. We talk about great kingdoms. That's why we say yes to America. Why? Because America is a great, wicked kingdom. Oh. That's right. That's why we talk about America. 
God bless America. How the hell say God bless America when they legalize homosexuality? That is one of the chief transgressions of the Bible. Oh my gosh, is he talking about that? Oh, he has hate in his heart. You goddamn right I got hate in my heart. I hate evil. The Bible said do what? Love the good and hate the evil. So we hate evil. You're absolutely right. We talk against evil, absolutely, because this is what the prophets before us talked about. Read that again. Before the of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms. And against great kingdoms. Is America not a great kingdom? Why is everybody so sensitive when we're talking about America? America's a great kingdom, ain't it? Ain't it a great kingdom? Now you think to yourself, it, no, it is a great kingdom. We ain't gonna lie, it's a great kingdom. It got the top military in the world. Ask Hiroshima and Hiroshima. <laughs> They still haven't recovered. Kids is being born with biological uh 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 biological defects that that cliff that cliff lip. They blew a whole nation off the map. Yeah, this is a great kingdom. This is a great wicked kingdom. It's a wicked kingdom. America's wicked. You a proud American? Well, you a proud wicked person. Calm. The Bible don't like America. We're gonna read what the Bible really likes. Your pastor ain't really teaching you the Bible. This is the real Bible right here. We don't care how you feel about it. We don't care how you feel about it. We don't care if you're mad about it. We're going to tell you what that says the Lord, and that's that. Because that's what our forefathers said, and then that's what they did. What you got to preset? Go ahead. Matthew chapter 11, verse 6. Blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me. See, blessed is he. Shall not be offended in him. Who's offended in Christ? We not. Hey, we love Christ. Christ tells us to get it together. Guess what? We don't get it together. Uh. If you offended with these words, you ain't offended by me. I, hey, I didn't make you mad. You offended with Christ. Because I didn't say these words. I didn't write these words. We read it out of the 1611 King James Bible. I didn't write these words. It's the same uh, Bible that your pastor got. But the, the reason why, okay, can I hold that? that? The reason why that your pastor don't understand this word is because of this. Give me Daniel, the last chapter. Hold that, give me Daniel, the last chapter. Whoever got it first, give me that. Daniel, the last chapter. This is why your pastor can't understand these words. Only few can understand these words. See, this is why this Bible is so important. That's why your, your salvation, you have to really seek your salvation. You just not, don't think that your salvation is just going to fall in your lap. You gotta work for this. You gotta study for this. You can't just look. Being an Israelite is a is a 24-hour job. We get no days off being an Israelite. Uh -huh. Every single day you wake up, you're an Israelite. Uh -huh. Every single day your 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 salvation is 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 geared by your study habits. Uh -huh. Because the Bible says this. Let's read that and I want you to give me verse uh uh 12 and yeah, four. Yeah, it's up four. Yeah, read that. Daniel chapter 12, verse 4. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book. See, the words of this book is sealed up. The words of this book is sealed up. What does it mean? Does it mean that literally the words of this book, you can't open it? No, it doesn't mean literally. It's spiritually. There's a spiritual seal on this book, meaning everybody cannot understand this book. This book is not for everybody to understand. He said, seal this book, right? Read. Shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro. It says, even to the time of the end. This book right here? Any, you guys know what this book is called? Anybody? Anybody on the planet? How you doing? You seen this book before? You never seen the Bible before? Yeah, I know you've seen the Bible before. Right? Every, every black family got a Bible. <laughs> So Granny got a Bible on a nightstand. Every black family, Granny got a Bible on a nightstand. A Bible on the dashboard in your car, right? But now the question would be, everybody has a Bible, but now who really understands this Bible? That's the real question, right? Do you go to church? No? Good. Stay out of the church. You know why? Because they're not teaching you the truth of the Bible. If you had time for your salvation, I can show you what's really the truth of the Bible. Time for this is the truth of the Bible right here. And you're going to get it. Let me read it here today. Read that. And knowledge shall be increased. Knowledge shall be increased because there's a lot of people that are seeking diligently to understand this book. But it's not for everybody to understand. It's only for us to understand, right? 
the prophets of the Lord, the true children of Israel. Only Israel, Psalms 147, 19, 20. Only Israel by name, right? Can keep thy precepts. Understand what's written in this word. Can't nobody else. The white man can't tell you what's in this book. He can't tell you who's who in this book. Matter of fact, he, and if he could, he wouldn't tell you. <laughs> he's a damn devil. He's a serpent. He's a liar. He's a thief. Not going to tell you what's really in this book. We're going to tell you what's really in this book. See, for a long time, we didn't know the truth and the power of this book until we opened it and started reading it for ourselves and didn't really see the power of us in this book. Uh -huh. This book has the power to change the game banger, right, into a good, wholesome brother. This power got the, this book got the power to change the, the hoes of hoes, like Cardi B, into stand-up virtuous women, Proverbs 31. Only if you got faith as a mustard seed to change. You want to change your life? This book has the answers. The truth of this book, though. Because you got some liars out there, and you got a lot of enem the enemies of the, the powers that be that come against you to try to get you away from this book. How old are you, bro? How old? Fifteen, brother. I'm gonna tell you something. It's hard out there to be a fifteen-year-old and live righteously, huh? It's hard. It's time. It is. Fifteen. I came in the truth. Eighteen. What you heard was you? You were seventeen, sixteen when he came in the truth. You were fifteen years old. Let me tell you. You were you in regular school? Is that your father? Yeah, it's hard and it's going to be hard for you. Look, let me tell you what you got. You have a lot that you got to face, King. See, that's what we all do. But I'm 27. I'm twice removed out of school and all that and peer pressure from, from friends. Let me, I'm going to show you what you got to look for. You want to see what you got to look forward to? Being a 14-year-old, 15-year-old in the truth? I'm going to tell you what you got to look forward to. Watch this. Give me uh, Revelations real quick. Watch this, bro. What you got? Revelations. Uh, 21. Watch this. This is what uh, Revelation 19, 21. Let me let me read this to you. And, and, and this is a warning for you too. This is a warning for all of us. How old are you, young boy? 18. 18, 15. You better, man. Y'all blessed to get the truth this up this young. It's a blessing. You, you know how dynamic you could be if you start your studying from that age on. But you know what? The battle's gonna be hard because you got spirits that's after you, King. You got the women. You got the homies. You got the parties. You got the music. You got the turn up. But I'm from LA. You from LA? I'm from Jersey. I'm from Jersey? I'm from LA. I know. I know the temptation. Hands on, King. I was out there, King. I was smoking weed with the homies. For real. And I and, and I wasn't no square in the world. I was cool. <laughs> For real. How you doing, King? You alright? This word can help you get that mental challenge off you right now. This word right here can help you with that mental block. Whatever you're dealing with in your life, this word can help you with that. Farrakhan is my man. Farrakhan is your man? Yeah. yeah. Farrakhan? What you know about Farrakhan? Yeah, I'm Muslim. You a Muslim? Yeah. Oh. That, what's, your, what's your nationality? What's your race? Muslim. You can't be a Muslim by race. That's a religion. Black man. Black is a color. Black. Give me Hosea 4 and 6. Let me show you something. <laughs> Nah, Hosea. <laughs> Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. Bring it out. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. See, our people, we destroy for lack of knowledge. Right? Let me educate you on something real quick. And then I'm going to get back to my king right here. Alright? You're not a Muslim. You're an Israelite. Do you know how Islam started? You know the history of Islam? I don't know if you do or not. But Islam was a religion that was started. Okay? Based off of the truth of the Bible, of the Israelites. You're an Israelite, you're not a Muslim. You're an Israelite, you're a Jew. You ever heard that? Yeah. You ever heard that before? King David? Yeah, you related to King David. Yeah. So do you know what you gotta do now that you know you're a Jew? Bow down. Bow down to who? Allah. No, not, well, not, 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 not the, not the, not the. Well look, let's read this again, read this again. Yeah, I, gotta, I gotta talk to my brother when he got a little sense on him Because right now this is it Hosea chapter 4 verse 6 My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge And this is why he's destroyed right? Because thou hast rejected knowledge I will also reject thee Islam is not a black man's religion Islam is an Arabic man religion Huh. Okay, that's the Arabic. And you know the Arabs had you in slavery before the white man did. That's right. You know that, right? 
The reason why you're Arab is because the Arabs gave you that religion. They enslaved you. They killed you. They murdered you. Yes, Jose, Jose, yeah. Bring it out. We're going to get history, man. Jose, Jose, we're going to get it. Jose of 4 and 6. <laughs> this is prime example of Jose of 4 and 6. What you got? Psalms, chapter 97, verse 7. Confounded be all they that serve graven images. Hey, did you go? Did you? He probably don't know because he's out of his mind, but he got to go bow himself down to a cobblestone. Cobblestone is an idol. I thought Muslims don't deal with idols. Did you go to the Kaaba yet? You didn't go to the Kaaba yet? The cobblestone? Did you go make your pilgrimage in Mecca? Bow down to a rock? See? It's for a lack of knowledge. But this is a prime example of why our people need us out here. Hey, if this brother's a Muslim, the Muslims did a terrible job of this brother. This brother's out of his mind. The Muslims did a terrible job. Look at this brother, man. Where's your brothers at? You Muslims, y'all did a, a terrible job because he shouldn't even be out here. He should be somewhere getting help. You understand? Okay. This is terrible, but that's why y'all need to leave Islam and come to the Israelites. We're going to help you. Try. We ain't going to leave you out to the streets. You understand? Hey, what do you say? You for the streets? Nah, you ain't for the streets when you come to us. Come serve the Lord, man. You'll be with us. We got your back, like four flats. This brother right here is a prime example of how the nation of Islam has failed. The nation of Islam, I'm going to say, I'm going to call them out. They have failed because look at our communities. No way, Jose. Jose, Jose. Yes, they do fail. They fail because they're not leading us to the commandments of the Most High God. They got you selling bean pies. Allah king. No, it's only one God. Allah king. No, Yahweh. Allah is God. Yahweh, give me that. Give me uh um Exodus six. Exodus six. Uh, and let's God. read verse two. I read. have faith, my God. Exodus chapter God. six, verse two. This is God right here, right? And God sp spoke unto Moses and said unto him, I am the Lord. And I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob. Did he appear to Ishmael? And I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob. Ishmael was the father of the Arabs is where this man get his Arabic religion from, Islam. He didn't appear to Ishmael, he appeared to Isaac. Abraham, Isaac, and I Jacob. And I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob, by the name of God Almighty. Allah. By the name of God Almighty. Now we understand if you want to get, uh, if you want to get, Fuck you know, take people in the name of Allah just means Fuck power, God, right? Man. Just like Allah and just like God, right? Just means power. Fuck but the God, God that we bow down to is who? By the God. name of God Almighty. God Almighty, read. But by my name, Yahweh. Was I not known to them? We bow down to the God of Yahweh. Yahweh God. That's what we bow down to. We don't bow down to a cobblestone. We don't bow down to Allah. None of that. Allah has brought none of that. Yahweh is the God. Yahweh. Say Yahweh. Say Yahweh. Say Yahweh by Hashem. This spirit can't even say it. <laughs> Allah is God. Man. I know he out of his mind. But he been drinking, but the spirit know what's up. We bow down to the Howard, please. Isaiah chapter 35, verse 5. I am the Lord, and there is none else. There is no God besides me. There is no God besides the God of Israel. And that's who we bow down to. So, brother, hey, man, go get some, go, go sober up and, and get your mind right. And, uh, I ain't a feeling God. And come back. Allah is God. Come back to the truth of the Bible if you can. Good, now, let me let me keep building real quick. All right. Um. And how you doing, sis? Oh, uh, crazy. You, doing? you got any questions? Hey. No, coming along. Coming along. One hook. One Give me some back right quick. Coming up for my sister, man. Just wanna come along. Coming up for my sister, man. Cool. She got a notebook and all that. A notebook, man. she coming in line. Look at all that. Praises. Oh, praises to the most high. All praises. Have you ever seen us on the streets before? Have you ever seen us on the corners before? Oh, okay. All praises, man. Oh, okay. 
Oh, she ready. She got her notebook. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's the spirit of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. See, you see, that that's what we out here to do. We out here to educate our people. You understand? Educate our people. How old are you, sis, if you don't mind me asking? 31. Oh, praises. And that's a beautiful thing. We got, we got uh, 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 people that really want to serve the Lord in truth and understanding. You understand? So we're going to tell you what we should do in these present times. We live in the crazy, and this is back to what I was telling you. You live in some crazy times right now, King. You got a lot of temptation you fighting with. I know, because I've been there. Like I said, I've been there. I've done that, right? Being running around, driving around all, all in the streets at night, right? Getting in at 5 in the morning, going to sleep, waking up, blowing some tree and doing it all over again, blowing throughout the day, trying to see what I can do. All of that. We've been through that, right? And I'm not just telling you, I'm, I'm not, the, I mean, I'm 27, I'm still a young man myself. A lot of my, a lot of my boys that I was running with back in the day, guess what? They was, they was, like I said, they was out there doing big things, getting money, all type of stuff. The temptation. And the white man in Esau knows that that's the only thing that we're fighting with is our salvation, is dealing with the temptation out there. He said, look, the only thing I can do to get them to fall is to get them to battle with the temptation. So you at a young age, my sister right here, everybody on the street corner, we have heavy temptation we got to face. Heavy temptation. The battle is hard. It's a hard, and it ain't easy to walk this truth. To really walk in righteousness, it's a hard battle. It's a hard battle. Scripture says, prepare yourself. And that's a rock. Chapter 2, it says, prepare yourself. Yeah, get that on standby. So rock, chapter 2, you got it. Oh, y'all in the spirit, huh? Okay, let's get this. Ecclesiasticus, chapter 2, verse 1. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. So sis, you want to learn today? You came, you got your notepad? Oh, please. Prepare yourself for temptation, though. Oh, the devil, he going to be mad. He mad right now. He don't like this. <laughs> Did the sister say she want to learn? Did the brother say he's 15 and want to learn? Oh, oh, Satan don't like that. So you know what Satan going to do? Now let's go back to the revelations real quick. This is what Satan is going to do. I'm going to show you the tricks of the devil. This is this this, this kingdom is a goddamn devil. Ran by the devil. The chief, the, the chief devil. We know all the nations is controlled by the devil. But this man is controlled. We the chief devil. 19, read that one right there. 18, right. Revelations 18, 21. Revelations chapter 18, verse 21. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great milestone. You know what this devil in America uses to promote? What is the chief, uh, the number one thing that this devil in America uses to promote fornication, lust, lies, deceit? Anybody? TV. Music. TV. And TV, yes. But music is what I was oh, looking yeah. for. Entertainment. This devil uses music as one of the chief ways to get all people into sin. I'm going to show you the Bible is the realest book in the world, in the world man. That's why we got to clean up our music. We got to clean up our souls. They say your eyes and your ears is the gateway to your what? Your soul. Your soul. We got to clean it up. Why? Because this devil, I'm going to show you what the Bible says. What, what the Bible say? I'm telling you right now. That's why Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, all of these uh, women that's out here making our women uh, 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 proud to be hoes. That's all done by the music. This devil, and he wants you to fall from grace. He said, I got I to gotta intervene in their life any way that I can. I got to keep them away from righteousness. Put it on TV. Put naked women all on TV. Put naked and, and drugs and all of that all in the music. I need them to feel the lust. Why? Because he knows. Hey, can we not? Can we be real today? Bring it out. flesh likes it. Bring it out. Yeah. Satan, look, we years, we years behind Satan. Satan didn't study your mind. When I say Satan, I'm talking about the right man. Sigmund Freud, he knows everything you think. He knows every action, everything you want, every, I can give it to you. What yeah. you like? I know how to make you addicted. I know how to get your mind. I know how to get you to hide. That's why these weed brothers be smoking. Brother, better be careful because it's just like the cocaine you smoke. Teach. Right man, too, for what is it? The CBD? I ain't no herbalist, but what do you say? What is it? The CBD? The THC? The THC. I'm going to I'm a, I'm a, I'm a heighten the THC. Why? Because he knows that we're creatures of habit, and what he wants is your mind to be in a habit of wickedness. That's why we got here to tell you no. You got to fight. That's why you got to fight. She got to fight. We all got to fight here because our bodies love the wickedness, and he knows it. That's why he does this, right? And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great milestone and passed it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down. See, this is a great city Babylon right here. It says with violence this city will be thrown down. Right? Why? Right, right? And shall be found no more at all. And the voice of the harpers 
and musicians. It said in this place, Babylon, it says the voice of the harpers and the musicians, right? And the pipers. And the pipers, right? And trumpeters. And the trumpeters, right? Shall be heard no more at all. Shall be what? Shall be heard no more at all in thee. He said, look, Babylon was known for what? What did he say Babylon was known for in this revelation? He said Babylon was known for the musicians, for the trumpeters, for the harpers, any, what is it telling you? For the music. Bring it out. Why? Listen to this. The Bible is telling you what the, the Bible is telling you the vice that the vices that the devil uses. These are the vices that the devil uses. This is what he uses right here. Listen, dude. Shall be no more at all, at all in thee, and no craftsman. Or whatsoever craft he be, shall be found any more in thee, and the sound of a milestone shall be heard no more at all in thee, and the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in thee, and the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more. At See, look at that. He's telling you, man, he's gonna destroy this place. And the main thing he said, this is how you know the man's heart don't like my music. Because out of all the things he could have said that he really wanted. Uh, uh, that he could have mentioned about what he wanted to destroy in Babylon. Why did he mention the music? He said, and your harpers and your musicians are heard no more. Why? Because how many of y'all know that the music that you listen to travels upward? You don't know that? Bring it up. Come on, man. Vibration? Nah, for real. What did we talk about in class? What is the frequency? The different frequencies, right? Oh, y'all think I'm... Oh, you're tripping. Do you know that they actually do that? You're, they, they have certain frequencies that tap into certain moods. You ever heard of the love frequency? frequency? You ever heard of that? There's this, well, what's this? Just so y'all know, I'm not tripping. There's different frequencies that this devil has learned to tap into to get your mood. When you about to go slide on somebody that you listen to. Boss. That's a frequency. Mm -hmm. When you about to make love, what you listen to? Make Peace sweat. Keep sweating. <laughs> <laughs> right? some, people, some people old school. They like me to the the Set the mood, right? That's a frequency. That's a look. I gotta tap into a certain frequency. You do wanna get crazy in the devil music? They just say, la, 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 la. What kind of frequency is that? It's a bonic ass oh. frequency. Music is a frequency. Drake means devil. Damn, it did. It did. Damn, Drake means devil. <laughs> So what? Drake mean devil. Yeah, it means that's a, that's a <laughs> I know it means something. I heard it means something. Where uh, Dracula came back, they was calling him Dracula. Wow. Oh, I, I look, remember yeah. something like that. Oh. Um, Dracula. So I forgot exactly what he said. That's why you got to be careful what you listen to. You got to clean out your music, man. The most high don't like it. Now, what a lot of people don't understand is, do you know that the music, the most high, when you play music, right? It's, this is how powerful it is. And these different frequencies, they go up into the atmosphere. Right? Your prayers do too. Your prayers go up too as incense. That's why the Most High said, man, you got to sing before the Lord righteously. But when you listen to that evil, ratchet, devil music, and I ain't talking about the punk rock devil music. I'm talking about Nicki Minaj. That's devil music. Cardi B, that's devil music. Why? Because it's telling your flesh, it's giving you all the lust and the desires of your flesh. You understand? So you gotta be careful because this devil is definitely out to get you. How? Look at the music. Let's come and it For thy merchants were the great men of the earth. For by thy sorceries were all nations deceived. By thy sorceries. Can somebody look up the definition of sorcery, please? What is sorcery? What are the sorceries that are here today and time? Look. I'm gonna let y'all know something and all y'all gotta do is just take a, just think about it for a second. You got sorcery? Read that for me, y'all. Sorcery, the use of magic, especially black magic. Magic, the use of magic. Now let me let me tell y'all something, cause y'all probably think that, y'all probably think that magic is what? Y'all probably think magic is just soothsayers and psychics and all of that. Nah, magic is deeper than that. Let me tell y'all something. Have you noticed that the music or uh, the times change with the music? Do y'all no, 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 understand it? Now, why is that? Why is, the, why is that? Huh? Why is it that the times change with the music? Think about it. There's a lot of homosexuality in music today, right? And what's on the rise? Homosexuality. Back in the 90s, right? It was a whole bunch of gangbanging, right? Back in the 90s, it was a whole bunch of gangbanging. What was the music like? 
game banging. Back in the day, old school, old school, there was more parents and households that was together. It was a music like. So you know I I I love you. <laughs> now it's F a bitch. And how are the times? See, that's sorcery. Cause the music that they put out, they created it to be a certain frequency to get you here in a wicked vibration. See, this is the devil right here. This is what we really gotta fight. We got a big fight that we gotta fight. Uh, let's bring two, 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 two. That's it. Two, 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 two. That's it. Speak that. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 2 We're in time past He walked according to the course of this world What is the course of this world? It says back in the day We used to walk in the course of this world What does that mean? What does that mean? We used to walk in the ways of the world, right? The course of the world, right? What is the course of the world? Huh? What is it? Let's figure it out, right? According to the prince of the power of the air Who's the prince of the power of the air? Think about it what does that mean? The prince of power of the air. Controlling air no, that's not that's not Satan. I mean, uh, you said the most high or you said Satan? Oh, this not the most high, no. This prince of power of the air? This right here? I'm, let me finish it so you can get context. Let's see what he told us to do. Rick. The spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. This is a spirit that worketh in the children of disobedience. So now, guess what? The music, right? The prince of the air. What is the prince of the air? The prince of the air is the prince of the airwaves, right? Mm. Mm. Now it's going to start to make sense. The prince of the air, airwaves, traveling, frequencies, traveling, telling you to pop your ass. And girl, every time this song come out, I can't help but to want to pop my ass. That's a freak, but that's power. That's the prince of the air. And it only works in the children of disobedience, because when I see that, I hate I hate it. I'm like the most high. I can't stand it. Uh. When I, I still haven't kept, brought myself together to watch that Nicki Minaj and, 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 and Megan Thee Stallion video. I still haven't watched it, because I'm going to be so enraged when I watch it. Because the spirit of disobedience doesn't work in me. So when I see things like that, I can't take it. But guess what? The spirit of disobedience work in the wicked, so they love it. They love it. They love it. Because the prince of the air is doing a hypnotism. He's like Pinocchio. He's controlling them with invisible strings. That's why he's using the music, right? Read, what's this? Verse 3. Among whom also we all had our conversation and time passed in the lust of our flesh. Back in the day, we used to all deal with that, right? In the lust of the flesh. Y'all remember that? Remember when we, when we was in that same spirit? We used to have our conversations in the lust of the flesh just like that. We wanted to turn up just like everybody else in the world. We wanted the girls in the, in, in, to, to twerk on us in the parties too. I live in the street club. In the strip club. Yeah. We used to work, work in that too, but the Bible changed our lives. For the better now, because now we're free. We're free from the lust of the flesh. But it ain't never going to leave nowhere. That's why we got to constantly endure. Right? Because the world is a wicked place. This is a wicked place. Y'all look around you. This is a wicked place. Every time you turn on the TV, it's some naked girl, some pornography, some something wicked. Every single time. Every day we turn on the TV, listen to music, go out in the world. Why is it so much evil? So, hey, man, you can't even have a social media. Uh, you know, somebody being naked or something wicked. Some people killing some type of lust of the flesh. This is the world that we live in, right? Really. Fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind. Fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind. Because where do your desires come from? The mind. And what does the music infiltrate? The mind. And what does TV infiltrate? The mind. I feel bad for our kids. They have no hope. What are they doing, Christ? Because without Christ, they have no hope. Right now, you battle with things. You're going to have to make a decision in your life, man. You're going to have to fight within your own mind. The temptation going to cause you, man, bro, come on, man. It's not tripping, bro. Come on. 
Look, man, and God ain't gonna destroy you, man. Come on, man. And it's gonna feel good to your flesh. And on that day, you remember me telling you this. Remember, man, that brother told me this was gonna happen. You're gonna have a choice to make. And not your father can't make it for you. You can't make it for you. None of these brothers can make it for you. You got a choice that you gotta make, kid, and you gonna choose righteousness. You probably already dealing with it. It's the truth. We know. Probably already dealing with it. Your friends, your homies, they're gonna tell you, man, come over here and do this. You got a choice that you gotta make, man. I'm telling you, I would rather cry now than laugh and, and, and laugh later. But kingdom, man, do you know what God got in store for you? I'm gonna show you what God got in store for you, man. You gonna live forever, king. You got a kingdom that's in store for you. Man, forget this. Look at this, huh? Look at this. You got gum stains. Man, you got a kingdom that's coming that they says the streets is paved with gold. Man, you didn't think that it was gonna be easy to get that kingdom. Man, let's show them that. Get the revelation. Uh, uh, start at 11? Yeah, read that. Let me tell you what you got in store for you, King. Let me tell you, you, you give me back, um, what was that, where I had told you? You get Ephesians 2 and 2, and you stay right there. I want to show this king what he got in store for him if he can defeat the, the lust of the flesh. All you got to do, and my sister right here, I'm going to tell you what y'all got in store for you. You know you're Israelite already, right? And you got a kingdom that's waiting for you. Man, forget this world. Forget the lust of the flesh. Man, forget it. I, I'm there whatever. I don't care about the big booty. Can I be real with y'all? I care about the big booty hoes, and I don't care about none of that. Man, I'll give all that up. You know why? Because I'm a ball in the kingdom. Oh, right. man, you got a kingdom that's waiting for you. This is like a movie, man. <laughs> Everybody don't make it. Man, forget it. It ain't even. Man, look. What's the cost? A little bit of pleasure? A kingdom of God for eternity. Oh. Huh? What, what, what y'all want to do? You want the kingdom? Man, y'all got a choice y'all got to make. Watch this. This is what you got in store for you. King. Believe these words. And if you look, this is only for those that can believe these words. Believe these words. Trust in these words. The Most High said, "I will wipe away every tear from your eye. You will never feel sorrow." Man, forget the little bit of pleasure that we don't get. Forget the little bit of pleasure. We will never feel sorrow again. Watch this. Revelation chapter 21 verse 10 and he carried me right and he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain he said he carried him away in the spirit read and showed me that great city uh -huh. the, the great city great read the holy Jerusalem the holy Jerusalem this is a great city this is the city that you got in store for you man get out get right here man Look at all this right here, man. I ain't worried about none of that. I want John. this city. I want this city. Bring it out. This city right here is what I want. And forget all of that. You talk about beautiful women. How the women gonna look in the kingdom? God. Forget all that other stuff. How you gonna be in the kingdom? I'm gonna show you what type of angelic body you gonna have. You want me to show you? I'm gonna show you that today. I'm gonna show you what you got. Man, let it go, King. It don't, it don't mean nothing. All the lust that your body can. Man, you know what? Because over time, lust deteriorates your body. Did y'all know that? Over time, lust deteriorates your body. Man, I wish I had that precept. I brought it out in a lesson before, man. Oh, it's in Psalms. Man, I want that precept. I, it, it'll come to me, but read that right now. Descending out of heaven from God, having the glory of God. And her life was like unto a stone, most precious, even like a jasper stone. You see that? It says that the kingdom was like a stone. It was like a stone. Do y'all understand that this kingdom, look, this is concrete. Can you imagine a kingdom made, a built off stone? Of jasper? You know what a jasper stone is? Man, Google jasper stone. Google it. This is what your kingdom is. Your kingdom is something you can't fathom. It ain't this, 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 this is filth right here. Your kingdom ain't gonna be able to have filth in it. You poured it up? Man, look, what what it look like? He said, woo. <laughs> That's a Jasper stone. That's why you gotta go into these terms, man.
that's why you gotta go. That's why you gotta go into these terms, man. He said your kingdom is gonna be like that. What color was that? Like a reddish color, up. Huh? Reddish brownish. Like a reddish orange, brownish. Orange. Man, can you imagine how that's gonna be? That's your kingdom. That's the kingdom you got. Man, fuck all this. Fuck a mansion. Can I be honest with y'all today? Man, fuck a mansion. I want this. What's this read? Clear as crystal. It says clear as crystal. Have you ever seen something that was clear as crystal? It says it's gonna be that stone, but clear as crystal. That's your kingdom. That's pretty, ain't it? <laughs> Words can't describe that. That's how your kingdom gonna look. Read, what's this? And how the wall great and high. It said the wall was great and high. Why? Because everybody can't go in there. Everybody can't go in there. Hey, hey, forget your club. Forget your uh, your popularity uh, 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 parties. Forget all of that. I don't want the entries to none of that. I want the entries to this game. Forget all that other stuff. I'm trying to get the kingdom of the most high. I'm trying to get this. Read. And have 12 gates. 12 gates, why? 12 tribes. 12 gates. Who trying to go into those gates? Five. Who trying to go and see they tribe? Man, this, hey, this gate belong to my tribe. <laughs> hey, this the tribe of Benjamin right here. This is my gate. Look at this, man. You, you got something that is yours. You got something that you can call yours now. Tax free. Calm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because the white man, he got a funny way of making you feel like something belongs to you. But he taxing it at it. He said, nah, you still got to pay the property tax on it. Hey, this tax free right here, Reed. And at the gates, 12 angels. 12 angels. So not only is it going to be 12 gates, but then you're going to look up and see an angelic being. You Guess what them angelic beings going to be doing? What you think they're doing? Bouncing. They what? They bouncing. <laughs> Get out of here. See you, you're gonna get by this chair. <laughs> they gonna be doing exactly what they did when they was guarding the uh, the tree of life. You think you're gonna get past that? Cherubim. That chair of them gonna be what? Sitting there. Who? Oh no, you can't, uh-uh. You can't get into you can't get into here. Nah. It's only for the special. Read. And names written thereon. And names written thereon, read. Which are the names of the twelve tribes? Of the children of Israel. It's gonna be the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. This the kingdom. Uh, this the kingdom that we wait for. That's uh, why when y'all laugh at us, we don't care if you laugh at us. We don't little, 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 little sprinkles things on your shirt. Yeah, laugh. Cause I'm laughing right with you. Give me that wisdom of Solomon, man. Hold that, man. Take me home, man. This is what we got to look forward to. Now let me ask you this. Let me ask y'all this. Who want that king? We ain't even done with that. Give me wisdom for something. Who want that king? I'm wrong. Uh, four, I believe. Wisdom for something. Five. Oh, five. Yeah, it's not five. Thank you. Five and one. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter five, verse one. Watch this. Then shall the righteous man Stand in great boldness. The righteous man gonna do what? Stand in great boldness. The righteous man and women of the most high gonna stand in great boldness. We gonna see it. Uh-huh. Yep. Well, we probably gonna stand in boldness, read. Before the face of such as have afflicted him. They afflicted us, right? They said we gonna stand in boldness. Oh yeah, y'all was laughing at me, huh? Oh yeah, you thought it was funny, didn't you? Oh yeah, oh I was crazy. I was stupid. I was all I was every I was every name in the book. I was a hate, I was in a hate group, I was in a cult. <laughs> I was in all of that. I was I was every name in a book, but guess what? On this day, I'ma stand in great boat. Calm. And you're gonna see my kingdom behind you. Read what's this. And man no count of his labor. Uh -huh. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. Oh my, they're gonna be like, it's gonna be a fear when they see this. Why? Because they're gonna be like, wow, we laughed at him and everything that he said came true. I think the worst thing about the lake of fire, which we gonna read the lake of fire. I think the worst thing about the lake of fire is burning for eternity. 
un knowing with the with the knowledge that you almost could have had the truth if you would have just listened. I think that's the worst thing. I think I, I mean, I, you know what? I, I don't know what the worst thing in the lake of fire is. But <laughs> I'm speaking for just me thinking now, right? And what I can perceive. I think the worst thing for me at this moment in time will be the fact that I seen them Israelites on the corner every Saturday and I did not stop. I seen them Israelites on the corner every Saturday and I looked and laughed, pointed my finger and made jokes about it. I seen them, my cousin was an Israelite and I talked about it. My brother, my sister, my father, my whoever was an Israelite in my house, my coworker was an Israelite and I laughed at him. And I called him crazy. And now I'm sitting here burning for eternity. Uh, I want to live for eternity. Watch this, read. And shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. Now, why did it say he shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation? Why? Why? What does that mean? They shall be amazed. It says that they shall be amazed. Meaning, meaning they're going to look up in the sky and they're going to be like, they're going to be amazed. Why? Give me that in uh, Corinthians. I think it's 2 Corinthians, uh, the spiritual place. They're going to be like the strangeness of your salvation. They're going to look up and be confused. Watch, read that. Then shall a righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labor. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. So far beyond all that they look for. It says, look. This, this salvation is going to be so far beyond what we thought it was, they're going to be like, what the hell is that? They're going to be the cherub and be like, what the hell is that? Man, I, I used to picture white angels on clouds. Like, oh, nah, that's not what it's going to be. Says the strangeness of they saw. Why? Because no longer, you're going to be changed, bro. Your whole being is going to be changed. I'm no more going to be 5554 five, five, Ratazan in this body. <laughs> I'm going to be 610. <laughs> With an angelic body. I'm going to show you. Read that. 36, 35. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 35. But some man will say, How are the dead raising up? And with what body do they come? Watch this. It says, what body will they come? Watch, this is this is the bodies that y'all got to look forward to in the king. It says, what body will they have? Read, watch this. The fool that which thou sowest is not quickened except it die. Mm -hmm. And that which thou sowest, thou sowest not that the body that shall be. Now this body, he's saying this body, it, 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 it can't, this body, the spirit, it's gonna die. It's gonna wear off. But bear again, Salakia, but bear grain, it may chance of wheat, of some of other grain. But God giving it a body as it had pleased him. Right. Most I said God gives the body. Right now, everybody has a spirit. Everybody's spirit is inside of your body. That's a shell. That's not who you are. You are who the spirit is. That's why when you die, your body grows cold because something leaves. They say you lose a couple, uh, what, I think a pound or something when you die? A couple ounces, you die, something leaves yourself. Something leaves you, right? That warm, when you feel yourself, when you're warm, that's the spirit that's inside of you. 
right? So the Most High says there's a spirit inside of your body, right? Read. Unto every seed his own body. Uh -huh. All flesh is not the same flesh, but there is one kind. Verse 40. There are also celestial bodies and bodies terrestrial. So you got celestial bodies and you got bodies terrestrial. Now my question would be is, what is a terrestrial body? It's an earthly body. But then there's celestial bodies. What is a celestial body? It's an Spirit. angelic body. An angelic body. When you look up that word celestial, it's dealing with the heavens. So what is your body going to be able to let you do? Go in the heavens. You know where Esau trying to go? We're going to be able to go up there with no problem. No problem whatsoever. This is why he said the strangeness of your salvation. Not only is your kingdom going to look like a diamond. He said you're going to get a celestial body. Read. What's this? But the glory of the celestial one and the glory of the terrestrial is another. Uh -huh. There is one glory of the sun and another glory of the moon. See, and it's letting you know there's one glory of the sun and there's one glory of the moon, meaning the celestial heavens. See, that's the glory of the heavens. When you look at the sun, that's the glory of the heavens, something that we can't even fathom. When you see a powerful instrument like that in the sky, that's a powerful thing. That's a celestial instrument. Why? Because it's ruling in the heavens. And the sun has a body. The moon has a body. Everything has a body. Fish have a body. Plants have a body. Everything has a body or a shell to represent it. But the spirit is what breathes the life in the body. The Most High is saying there's going to be a celestial body that's going to be given to each and every one of you that overcome this temptation. And once you have that body, you'll be able to go where? And another glory of the stars for one star different from another the star. The Most High said he created different. He created every star to be different. Every star is different. There's different stars. Guess what? There's different colors of stars. Do y'all know that? Every star is different. Guess what? Every celestial body is going to be different in the kingdom too. Another star in glory. So all is the resurrection of the dead. It says, it, so all is the resurrection of the dead. Meaning when we rise, we're going to get the same body. Right, Reed? It is sown in corruption. It's sown in corruption. Why? Because right now we're sown in these bodies. This is corruption right here. Our spirit is in corruption, right? Our spirit is bound to filth. Our spirit has to go to the bathroom. Our, I mean, our, excuse me, our flesh has to go to the bathroom. Our flesh has to eat. Our flesh gets dirty. Our flesh can stink. Our flesh can rot. Our flesh gets sick. But your spirit is not so. But this is the body that we have, right, Hey, It's raised in incorruption. But it will be raised in incorruption. So what is that incorruption? That incorruption is those spiritual bodies that we gonna get. And that's why in that wisdom of Solomon, they was looking like the strangeness of his salvation because look at this brother, man. This brother looked like a, 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 a superhero or something. He looked like a comic book character. That's what they, that's what they gonna be saying in those times. The strangeness of your salvation. Right? Teach, I... Who wants that? Come huh. on. Go ahead, sis. So if these bodies are used, terrestrial bodies are made to be vegan, right? Terrestrial bodies, yeah. Are made to be vegan, no uh, my expectation is. My overall thing is to be able to allow our spirits to fight past them. See, that's the, that's the, that's the key. The king, why did Christ come? Well, see, he also came. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Now, 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 
Let's get the point of all of this. show you sis watch this go ahead hebrews chapter 9 verse 6 now when these things were thus ordained the priests went always into the first tab uh, tabernacle accomplishing the service of god but into the second went in with the high priest alone once every year so if you understand what that said right so we have the tabernacle we have the temple right so who were the only sons that could minister in the temple? Levi, right? But every year for the Day of Atonement, they had to enter into the Holy of Holies. Now, the Holy of Holies is the top place, and that's where the Ark of the Covenant dwelled at, in the Holy of Holies, right? So the Holy of Holies, only Aaron's seed could go in there. So not even the Levites could go into the Holy of Holies. Only Aaron's seed. So when it says that every year they would go before the Holy of Holies, Aaron C line, right? And they would minister before the Holy of Holies, right? But this is when we had a physical temple. But that was all a shadow of things to come. The main point of what that was foreshadowing was this, right? Now without blood, which he offered for himself. So they would have to go to the Holy of Holies, Aaron C line, right? To offer blood for himself, right, read. And for the heirs of the people. And for the heirs of the people, read. The Holy Ghost is signifying that the way to the holiest of all was not yet made manifest. Uh -huh. So now go back and let's read uh, verse 8. Verse 8. The Holy Ghost is signifying that the way to the holiest of all was not yet made manifest. Uh -huh. So now, where's the holies of holies at, brothers? The holies of holies was what? In the temple, temple right? Second bill. It was in the temple, right? But now, he just said that the holies of holies was not manifest yet. So what does that mean? Read it one more time. I'm going to show y'all something. Follow me. Y'all follow me? Y'all follow uh, me? Okay. Stop me if I'm confusing anybody, right? Read it again. The, the Holy Ghost did signify that the way into the holiest of all was not yet made manifest. Now, so not only do we have the temple, which is holy, and then we have the holies of holies, right? But now they're making reference to something that's holier than all. What is that? Huh? Well, it has been. Where is that at? I'm gonna show you, it's gonna tell you, read. Where's the holiest of all? So now we got the temple, we got the holies of holies, but now we got a place that it says the Holy Ghost, right? Right? Yeah. Is entertaining, right? And it's holier than all, right? Watch, read, what's this? Well, as the first tabernacle was yet standing, which was a figure for the time then present. It says that tabernacle was a figure in time for present, right? So the whole, the physical tabernacle, the physical temple was only a temple that was for the for a, 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 a sign to what was to come. And what was to come is what? In which were offered both gifts and sacrifices. Uh-huh, and that's where gifts and sacrifices were offered, read. That could not make him that did the service perfect uh -huh. as pertaining to the conscience. Now! said but those sacrifices made nobody perfect pertaining to the conscience where is the most holiest holiest is all places in your mind that's why christ came that's the holies of holies y'all understand that's why he said what read what's this which stood oh so, this is so cold read. which stood only in meats and drinks and divers washing uh -huh. and carnal ordinances. So that's what they used to do in the regular temple, the physical temple, right? And pose on them until the time of reformation. Now, what is the time of reformation? Keep reading. Watch. But Christ being come 
high priest. But Christ had to become the high priest. Why did Christ have to become the high priest? It's going to explain. Of good things to come. Uh huh. By a greater and more perfect tabernacle. He said, by a greater and more perfect tabernacle. What is he talking about? What is your tabernacle? Your body. You are the temple. You are the body that he wanted. He didn't care about that physical temple. He didn't care about none of that. That's why he destroyed it. He wanted you. Huh? That's why we're supposed to live holy. Oh. That's why we're supposed to have our conscience. Watch this, read. Not made with hands. This temple wasn't made with hands. Your consciousness wasn't made with manly hands. Watch this, read. That is to say, not of this building, uh -huh. neither by the blood of goats and calves, uh -huh. but by his own blood, he entered in once into the holy place, uh -huh. having obtained eternal redemption for us. For if the blood of bulls and of goats and the ashes of a heifer sprinkling the unclean, sanctified to the purifying of the flesh. How much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit, offer himself with spot to God? Now, where right now we're in this body, we're in this tabernacles, but the way we purify it, this is what we have to do now, right? The way we purify it is purifying our consciousness with Christ. That's how you purify it. I'm sorry. Thank you. That's how you purify it. And that's what we're that doing right now. We're purifying our bodies through the consciousness and having Christ in our minds. So that when we get our angelic bodies, guess what? Our spirit is already purified. It's ready. That's why we're getting ready now. We practice it now. So when the most high take your spirit from you, your spirit is already purified enough to be in an angelic body. Can you imagine putting Esau in a body for eternity? God damn, what kind of wickedness he gonna think of? <laughs> God to damn. Build another king. Man, man. man, can you imagine Esau with a damn angelic body? He cold right now with a flesh in him. So right now, we're purifying our consciousness through Christ so our spirits can get ready to take on an angelic body. The most high can't just get that to anybody. Tom, bring it out. Only the special chosen people can get that. Now who wants that? Who want that? I want that. I want that. I want that that body forever. Go ahead, sis. I have another question. Go ahead. It's about the Sabbath. So I've been having conversations with my husband about Saturday being the Sabbath because wouldn't we be following the pagan calendar? Not at all. And let me ask you this. It's easy, it's quite simple to understand the Sabbath. And I think that's a big topic in Israel right now, is the Sabbath, right? Some go by the moon. We can go, we can go into that and destroy that, right? Some say, well, the, the, the Saturday Sabbath is a, is, a, is a pagan situation. But if you go back in history, what was our early father's keep, uh, forefathers keeping? Holy day. What holy day was? What, what day was Saturday? It, I, it, it was, before it was called Saturday, before Constantine changed it, because that's what people reference, right? They say Saturday, it was changed, Saturn, all of that. You know, the pagans, they always add in, what? Other deities, other names attributed to certain days and things like that. But nationwide, just simply put, our forefathers before that happened was keeping the Sabbath on what day? Saturday, because it was changed to Sunday. What day was it changed from? Changed from Saturday, Saturday to Sunday. So our forefathers, on record in history was keeping what day as a Sabbath? Saturday. Yes. And then when was it changed? It was changed by Constantine to what day? Sunday. That simple. Go back in history and see what day they was worshiping on. Right. That simple. Sometimes we, we 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 stretch too much. We stretch too much. Go back in history, see what, what day was they was they keeping? What day, when you when you read the book of Acts, you can go back in history and you can see all these Roman uh, 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 Roman emperors and all of that, they got records of us keeping the Sabbath. Saturday, we call it Saturday, but it's the Sabbath, right? On this day. It's record all throughout Roman. All you gotta do is go back into early Christian history. I'm not talking about oh, early pagan Christian history. I'm talking about early Christian history dealing with the apostles. They kept this day, this day. That's, or else, if it was already pagan, why the hell would Esau change it? 
Gone. If it was already pagan, why the hell would Esau change? He would have just kept it. Makes no sense. So today is without a shadow of a doubt this happened. Here. You, history verifies it. That's all you gotta do. That's why uh prepare to search like Bible. No. That's why Job says this, Job 9 20. Watch this. You see the Job 9 or 7? I think it's an 8. 7? 7. Seven. Seven. Seven and eight. Nah, it's nine and twenty. Nine and eight. Nine and the search of our fathers. Oh, well, yeah, the search of our fathers is, uh, read this one and then I want the search of our fathers. I think that's what, seven and seven? Seven and eight? Eight. eight. Read that one first, though. Job chapter nine, verse 21. What's this? Though I were perfect, yet would I not know my soul, I would despise my life. Why did Job say that? Job said that because knowing his soul is going back to his history. Okay. Right? Follow up with this one. Read. Job chapter 8, verse 8. For inquire, I pray thee, of the former age. So guess what, sis? Job says, inquire, I pray thee, of the former age. Why? Because then you will learn what's going on. If you understand history, <coughs> history will understand, keep you and get you, give you, get. Yeah, history repeats itself. And also what history does is a better understanding of why we are right where we are today. So all you gotta do is go back to history and see what days on record for them people to study. And it's gonna be this day right here. You're not gonna find no other day. You're not gonna find them doing it by the moon. Uh, what about the mind? Uh, who, Israel? Um, probably, I don't know, I don't know what reference you've seen, right, to, to say that, but that wouldn't be, that would be inaccurate because that's dealing with the Native Americans over here. Right. We were still over there in Jerusalem. Yeah. You know? So that, that wouldn't, that wouldn't be accurate. Now, now, I don't know if they're trying to say that they followed the moon, because I know that the Native tribe followed I the moon. Yeah, definitely that. Yeah. And we follow the moon too. That's why we have new moons. But the Sabbath operates on its own accord. It's not determined by the moon. You teach got some brothers that teach that. Let me show you that. Go to uh, Leviticus 23. And then go to... Uh, huh? Leviticus, Leviticus 23. Let me show you. I'm going to make it simple. Simplicity. The Sabbath is not determined by the moon. Okay? That is a... That is a... Now... Watch this. If brothers went back in history, they will understand that that's a Babylonian custom. The moon determining days in that matter is a Babylonian custom. The Babylonians did that. Teach up. Now, as far as de determining the, the weeks and things like that, the, the, no, we didn't do that. Yes, we determined the months by the moon. Absolutely. Definitely. There's 30 days in a month. There's 30 moon cycles. Absolutely. But the Sabbath and the weeks work on their own accord from the beginning of time. I'm going to show you this though. Let's read Leviticus 23. Read verse 1. Leviticus chapter 23 verse 1. And the Lord spoke unto Moses saying, Speak unto the children of Israel and say unto them, Concerning the feast of the Lord, which you shall proclaim to be holy convocations. Even these are my feasts. So these are the feasts of the Lord. These are the holy days of the Lord. These are the Sabbaths of the Lord. Right? Read. Six days. He's going to start off with the seven day Sabbath, right? It says six days what? Shall work be done. Shall work be done. Read. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest. Do we see anything dealing with the moon right here? You see anything dealing with anything of, of dealing with the moon or the sun that tells us when the Sabbath comes right here? He just says six days, right? Meaning that the week operates on its own accord. I'm going to show you that. Read. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest Read. and holy convocation. You shall do no work therein. Read. It is the Sabbath of the Lord in all your dwellings. Read. These are the feasts of the Lord. Now, he talks about the Sabbath. Notice the difference. He talked about the Sabbath, and now watch the difference with the other feast days. Read. These are the feasts of the Lord, even holy convocations, which ye shall proclaim in their seasons. Why did he say in their seasons? <laughs> well, the Sabbath was days, right? It's every, it's weekly, days. These, though, we got to proclaim in their seasons, right, Read. 
in the 14th day of the first month. Now, why is it that here it says month? What does month mean? 30 month means moon. Moon means what? It's interchangeable. Okay. So, moon, month are interchangeable, right? How do we get our months? By the moon. Right. So it says the month. Now, notice how when we read about the seven day Sabbath, it didn't say nothing about a month or a moon or nothing. It said days. Now, why would the Most High leave that de that big detail out there of how to calculate the seven, the seven day seven? Why would he leave that out? Huh? Well, it's there. It's, it's there. It's there, but look, it's not there talking about a moon with the seven day seven. Right. He gonna tell you how to keep. He's like, look, this is how you keep all my days. With the Sabbath, it's gonna be seven days. With these, you gotta do it in this month, in this moon, in this season. Go to, go to Genesis. Watch this, sis. Go to Genesis. Oh, Genesis. Go read that. Yeah, yeah. Genesis chapter 1, verse 5. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night, and the evening and the morning were the first day. And the evening and the morning were the first day. But go, uh, go down to the stars. Uh, 14? Yep, right there. Verse 14, and God said, let there be light. So where do we get days? Days are from the beginning of time, right? So when was the moon and the sun created? What day? It was what? Like, because the first day, obviously, the sun and the moon got to be created in the first day, right? Because they tell days, right? And they tell when the Sabbath come, right? 